muffins in the kitchen are very scientific. <gasps> it's dissolving, Aristotle. And now it's changing colour. They're always asking questions, both general and specific. What does the book say? Oh, uh, perhaps a few more drops. The boffins from the house next door think science isn't fun. They much prefer to hang around or lie back in the sun. Oh, I wish I had my skateboard. Yikes! Come on! Now boffins live in covers. That's where they like to stay. Let's see what sort of science the boffins do today. I know. Now, now turn it round a bit. Uh. Aristotle, what are you doing with the rock? It's Madame Curie's birthday. You're giving Madame Curie a rock for a birthday? Oh, no. No. It's something much better than that. It's something she's always wanted. No, no, no. The other way. Turn it round. What is it she's always wanted? Uh, a garden. Yes. Thank you. I can't see any garden. There are no trees or flowers, just that rock. Oh, it's a rock garden. God, yeah. <laughs> Keep coming. Closer. Oh. And stop. Ready for your surprise, Madame Curie? Yes. <laughs> oh. You see, it doesn't need watering, it doesn't need pruning or cultivating or tending or weeding. <laughs> you just sit back, relax and enjoy it. <laughs> oh, it's a lovely garden, Aristotle, but it's missing one thing. Right. And what's that? Well, it's so... lifeless. Oh, well, I oh. suppose I could have put a plant in there if I was able to find any. Oh. Aristotle? <sighs> Yes? I've just had an idea. Oh, have oh, you? Oh, yes. Oh. Now, let's see. Now, I have oh. something here. Um, ah. Ah. Here it is. There. Do you know what's inside this jewel box? Jewels? Hmm? <laughs> Life. They're just seeds. Huh? Life is all tucked up and squeezed into each seed and ready to begin. Ooh. Well, how does it begin? Good question. Well, Echo, that's the very problem that Madame Curie and I have never been able to fathom. No, we haven't. You see, that's why I prefer rocks. Mm. They're such simple things. They don't have to grow. They just are. Ah. The only thing we do know about seeds is that they become plants. Yes. But what we don't mm. know is how. Mm. Well, plants come from the ground, don't they? Yes. Oh, so why don't we put the seeds in the ground? Mm. Yes. <laughs> Let's do it scientifically. Spiffling. <laughs> Well, Echo, what have you got to report? Well, I've put my pot on the windowsill so the sun will keep the seed warm. Oh, how interesting. Ah, how is your experiment going, Newton? Well, I'm watering my seed in case it gets thirsty. Mmm, sounds very scientific to me. Yes, keep up the good work. I will. Day 26. Still no sign of a plant from either pot. Experiment so far, big failure. P.S. Rock is doing fine. 
Perhaps the seeds are no good. Perhaps the experiment's no good. <laughs> Perhaps we haven't been scientific oh, enough. Oh, Newton. I thought you didn't trust science. Huh? I don't. But whenever we use science, it seems to help. Hmm. Well, what do you have for us today, then? Huh. Well, plants are alive, aren't they? Yes. Go on. And we're alive, too. Well, I certainly was last time I looked. <laughs> Quiet. Now, go on, Newton. Then perhaps what keeps us alive yes. keeps plants alive, too. Ooh. That is the most brilliant piece of scientific reasoning oh. I've heard in a long time, Newton. Oh. It's, oh. it's spiffling. Yeah. Oh. So all we have to do mm. is work out what keeps us alive. Mm. Mm. Books. Books. I could not live without my books. Oh. But be serious, Aristotle. I think oh. these two boffins are on to something. After all, you and I have never had any success with plants. Oh, yes, yes, quite well, right. Well, I know that I need food to keep me alive. Uh, food. Good, good. Now, just a minute. And, and... Food. Food! And I need water. Water! water. And I need air to breathe. Uh, air! Yeah. And I need sunlight. 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 Let's see what happens when we give the seeds all these things. Why is a rock a rock? And why is a plant a plant? A rock never changes or alters its form. But a plant keeps on growing. Well, that is its norm. <laughs> so the question around that is right, is what is the meaning of life? A rock just sits still on the side of a hill. It can rain, it can blow, it will not care. But a plant in the ground, though terrestrially bound, responds to these forces with flair. The sun is just the sun. And water's just wet. Soil's merely soil. Air's air. And yet... Together they call us a whole lot of strife. Well, that's the beginning of life. Yes! Oh, wow! Yikes. It worked! Oh. oh! Oh! My garden is magnificent. Thank you. Uh oh, it was nothing. We should plant some other seeds, Madame Curie. Oh. Why should we do that, Newton? Well, one might grow a boffin. Somehow, I doubt it. There's all kinds of different sorts of life. For a boffin, I think you'd need an egg, but preferably one that isn't scrambled. Hmm? Why is that, Madame Curie? You might end up with another Aristotle. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh really? <laughs> Oh, Madame Curie. Oh, Aristotle. <laughs> why is a rock a rock? And why is a plant a plant? A rock never changes or alters its form. But a plant keeps on growing. Well, that is its norm. <laughs> so the question around that is rife, is what is the meaning of life? A rock just sits still on the side of a hill. It can rain, it can blow, it will not care. But a plant in the ground, though terrestrially bound, responds to these forces with flair. The sun is just the sun. And water's just wet. Soil's merely soil. Air's air. 